As a woman who is new to the business world, Meghan Markle has been forced to learn a valuable lesson. Timing is everything. It was not that long ago that the former actress unveiled her new, perfect, and authentic venture, American Riviera Orchard. Many were baffled as to why Markle decided to launch her project amid the health, Photoshop, and privacy drama. However, sources close to Markle explain that she finds the brand's name perfect, and she is happy to be pushing something truly authentic to her. Since the announcement, there has not been action from Markle and her staff to grow the Instagram page, which is stuck at half a million followers. There is no movement to promote the company either. And one royal expert has a theory. According to Neil Sean, Markle rushed to release the venture, only to discover that it was unwise and unprofessional. He stated, they often say patience is a virtue, and some people might suggest that is not something that is naturally forwarded to Meghan Markle. We've seen that impetuous side where she wants to get things done and get things out there, predominantly with things like 40 times 40, which is a good idea but not necessarily well researched and well thought through. He went on to say that Markle has a valuable lesson to learn, and Princess Catherine can teach it to her. The royal expert went on to break down how Catherine, who never takes part in interviews, was able to break the internet and captivate the world to be the most popular celebrity. Despite the ongoing political fight between Joe Biden and Donald Trump and other major headline-making events, the Princess of Wales was the most searched personality. Sean shared the following details. Without doing anything over the last week, the Princess of Wales Catherine has broken, as they say, the internet. Here is a woman we never hear from without interviews. We know very little about her other than the publicity machine that is put out. And yet she managed to be the most searched person over the last week. Beating Donald Trump, current President Biden, and every other topic around the world, isn't an incredible feat. He went on to advise Markle to learn to say less and be more reclusive so the public can be hungry for her and whatever she is selling. The royal reporter added. When do you think it's almost like the Greta Garbo syndrome? The less you say and do, the more people are interested. Maybe there is a lesson to be learned there for Meghan Markle. I was told that she assured you that by launching her Instagram account last week, would just blow that story away and show the power that she had. Now her team is feeling the wrath as to why this Instagram account and, of course, the search engine for her has not as she hoped broken the internet. The journalist claimed that Markle and Prince Harry's staff would take the blame, but the truth is that Catherine is simply too big and too powerful to compete with. He insisted, it's the advisors who get the bullet and, more importantly, get told off as to why it didn't work. When you have a forceful power like Catherine, the Princess of Wales, who seemingly can generate headlines for days on end. He concluded by saying that Meghan should have waited until April to make her big announcement. It would have had a bigger impact and could have propelled her business to higher heights. He said, What did you possibly think you could achieve by claiming you were launching a lifestyle brand? It would have been better to wait, possibly till the start of April. That was the idea, but for some inexplicable reason, Meghan decided to push ahead. Now we wonder if she thought that was a good idea, or is it ever somebody else's fault?